giant fish. Oh yeah. Holy crap, is it? Oh my god, what is this? It's ginormous. <sighs> What's going on guys so today we are kayaking on a bayou that i've only fished one time before i caught some pretty giant fish here uh, but that day the water was very high today the water's low so we're gonna have to pick our spots carefully i haven't seen much action even though i just got here i haven't seen anything but what we're gonna do i think is fish where the bayou bends right here i think i was gonna fish this little area right here because we got this concrete ledge but there is a sunken sailboat so that could be an issue um, we do not want to get snagged in that so we're gonna we're gonna pal around a little bit we're gonna see what we're working with and then we're gonna pick a spot and today we got frozen shad i got a bunch of shad but we got the cast net just in case we're gonna we're gonna throw around some base today and see if we can catch something we got a chance for giant gar alligator snapping turtles catfish could even get a stray black drum in here so you never know let's we'll see what we can get if y'all notice i'm not using my usual bait feeder reel that is because i think i've decided i'm not gonna be using those anymore i've had to repair them many 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 times and it's just I think I think it's just a smarter decision financially just to get a different reel at this point. Yeah, we're gonna be here all day and it's hot, so I'm wearing a tank top and swim trunks. So I'll probably be in the water at some point. I know it looked like a goober, but I do not care. I am so happy to be out here, dude. There are some giant fish in here, and hopefully we can get on one. Alrighty, so we just saw. I'm not gonna say it with confidence, but I think we just saw a fish that was upwards of seven foot, if not more. I've seen and caught a lot of giant gar. The sound that gar made when it splashed was like startling. So I'm probably gonna stay here for a while. Alrighty guys, we just got our cast net stuck, so we're gonna have to go for a little swim. Oh, the water's so freaking cold. Oh my gosh, dude, why is it so cold in April? Okay. But we have something in the net for sure. It's so cold. We have something in the net. My guess is it's a gar. But if it's a mullet or a buffalo, that'd be fantastic. I don't need, I do, I wanna, <laughs> I don't wanna go any lower, it's so cold. I need to get acclimated for a second. All right, let's go swimming. Oh, I just kicked whatever fish was in there. <laughs> if anyone sees me, they're just gonna see a head poking out of the water. <laughs> okay, net is unsnagged. Do we still have a fish in here? Yep, oh my gosh, there's a freaking gar in my face. Okay, I knew it was gonna be a gar. Ooh. Beautiful one. Wow, that's a pretty gar. Look how pretty that gar is. Beautiful fish. Look at the colors on that long nose gar. Oh, see ya. Alrighty, we are moving to where we saw this fish roll. They were massive. Just the problem that we're facing is that I don't think there's a good bank to like stand on or land a fish at. Alright, I think this is where I'm picking. We got a sand bottom. So it's really easy to walk on. Oh yeah, that's actually like luxury right there instead of cypress stumps everywhere. I feel fancy in this, bro. All right, let's get these baits out. All right, you guys, many hours later, check it out. We got a nice fish. That is a whole shad on there. You guys, whenever I picked up my bait, is like directly in front of us and he's not really moving if he's still on there i'm not sure oh no he's on there whatever it is he's on there there we go giant fish giant there we go there we go that's a big fish oh yeah there we go. Holy crap, it's a ginormous long nose. Dude, that might be a state record or something, dude. Look at the size of that long nose. Holy smokes, dude. What are you, what am I looking at? <laughs> Look at the size of that long nose, bro. Look at the size of that freaking fish. What in the world did I just catch? Hate that whole shad. Definitely want to tag this fish because uh, this dude is a monster. Look, it doesn't look that ginormous right now, but I'm gonna show you all this fish compared to me in a second. And y'all are gonna realize how big this thing is. This is absolutely ridiculous. 
absolute stud of a fish. Unbelievable. We got him tagged. Let's go and get a release on him. There we go. Oh, oh, we got mullet, guys. We got mullet. We got mullet. No way. All right, guys, whole live mullet going out under the float. If anything bites this, it'll be absolutely massive. Okay, we switched all the baits to mullet. We got a whole mullet on far left rod, a live mullet on the middle rod, and half of a mullet on this one. And I've seen maybe three or four gator gar since the giant one we saw this morning. So I'm thinking it might just be a long nose gar day, but the gator gar are here. It's very possible we can get one. But I'm not losing hope. They're here and they can always bite, especially a mullet. We got fresh mullet, so I'm very happy about that. Okay, holy smokes, you guys. One just picked up that entire mullet. That was like a 10 inch mullet we had on here. This probably is a gator gar. I would imagine so. We'll get off of there, get off, get off. Shoot, man. Look, he's like coming back to me. He's right there. Tell you what, man, that thing is very snagged. I don't know how we're gonna get it off. He's still on there though. Look at these lily pads, bro. That is snag city. These lily pads are just like, I love them, they're beautiful, but like the line gets so zigzagged under them and it's like impossible to get out. How is this snagged? I'm so confused. He's taking it into the canal, bro. I have no idea, this is chaos. I have no idea as to how this fish is snagged. No clue. I think I may have to just go and set the hook, bro. Cause look, the lily pads are like messing with the, Oh my gosh, this is chaos. <sighs> Come on. Come on, these freaking lily pads, dude. Come on. How is it snagged that bad on my other line? I don't get it. Look at this, bro. This is my other freaking line. That's how badly snagged it is. Come on, get off of there. I can't get it off. I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna set the hook. Oh my gosh, what is this? It's ginormous. <laughs> what? <sighs> Dude, what do we have? What do we have? What in the world is on my line? It's on there though. Whatever it is, it's on there. We gotta go get it. What the heck? This is the heaviest thing I think I've ever hooked. <laughs> Dude, whatever this is, it's ginormous. <sighs> ah, I got sunscreen in my eyes, I can't fucking see. <sighs> Freaking lily pads, dude, come on. <sighs> He's on there. He's very much on there. What do we have? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Guys. <gasps> oh my gosh. That is a gigantic alligator snapping turtle. Holy smokes. No wonder the line was snagged so bad, dude. It was in his beak. Look, I can get that hook out too. That's a dinosaur right there. All right, let go of my other line, bro, come on. Dude, I'm trying to get you off the of fucking thing, chill out. Man, I can't see the sunscreen in my eyes. Like, I can't see and I got this giant death machine in my hands. Yeah, we can get that hook out, no problem. You're coming with me. We're swimming back together. Let's go. Oh. Okay. Okay. We're swimming back together. Just 
be my friend for the 30 yards that we gotta swim. And do not bite me, please. Golly, mother one, it's so tangled and it's wrapped around my legs. I can barely walk. Let's see, I might be able to untangle us, dude. I might be able to untangle us. Uh, I don't know where the turtle is. That's great. That's great. Oh. I cannot see. There's a giant snappy turtle somewhere around my legs. But I can't see. They are. They are freaking adorable. Boop. Don't do that. All right, buddy. He's got a lot of algae on him. He's pretty green. Could have asked for a better hook set, though, because uh, I can get that hook out no problem. And like I've said in many of these videos, there's like so few of these guys left because of trapping and stuff. They take so, so long to reproduce. They're, they're usually really old. This turtle here is, could be like 70 years old. So uh, their populations are utter trash. So we always need to release these guys. All right, buddy. Get the hook out you. Hold on, just relax. Well, you see that tongue right there? That tongue is like a lure. Watch this boat's gonna pass by and be like, you need to eat them, put them in a soup. Snapper. What's up? They're about to be in danger and I let them go. Sometimes you just gotta tell people, like I know I come across as like crazy because I want all the fish and stuff to live, but oh look at that. Giant turtle. Okay, dude, my back is killing me. This dude is very heavy. I've been slacking in the gym. Absolute dinosaur. I gotta like get on my knees because my my back hurts so bad. Oh, look at that turtle guys. Absolute dinosaur. <sighs> Big old turtle. <sighs> nice turtle. Let's go and let him go. Well, I'm gassed. And like, just to touch on that point of uh, the turtles being in danger and all that, like a lot of people, a lot of my buddies roast me, like, dude, why do you care about the animals so much? It's like, I grew up catching all this stuff as a kid. And to know that a lot of people did that as well, and they had that stripped from them because the, the creatures were extirpated in the area, like Missouri used to have alligator gar, Illinois, all that stuff. It's like, I just want them to be around. I don't care if there's limits and they eat them like in moderation, you know? Cause like, I mean, it is food. Animals eat animals, but oh, I'm gassed. But I think uh, there should be limits. That's just my opinion. I just want to bring y'all enjoyable content. And I also want these fish and these turtles and all these things to grow big so that other people can one day have the opportunity to catch them. Alrighty guys, well that does it for today. I think I'm pretty satisfied with those two critters we caught, you know. Can't ask for much more than that. Come out here, catch a giant, just freak of a long nose, and then a freaking however many pounds of a turtle that was. So unreal day. I'm so happy with today because like I said, in many of my videos, this year has been tough. It's been colder than the last two years. So the water has just been chilly and the fish haven't really woken up yet. So finally, I think things are starting to turn around and I'm so happy to really get after it this year. We got some big plans ahead to catch some true, true monsters. So as always guys, thank you for watching. I'll see y'all in the next fishing video.